Step into a future where one man's past holds the key to humanity's survival in an epic battle for our future. Welcome to Movie Recap. Today's movie is an American military science fiction action film from 2021 titled The Tomorrow War. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in Miami Beach where Dan Forrester and other soldiers are seen falling from the sky in a destroyed area. Dan lands in a pool along with other people who are still falling. The story then flashes back to 28 years earlier in December 2022. Dan is a biology teacher living with his wife, Emmy, and daughter, Murray. At a Christmas party, Dan is waiting to hear back about a job at a research institute. Unfortunately, he receives a phone call informing him that someone else has been chosen for the position. Back inside watching the World Cup with his family, a strange wormhole suddenly opens in the arena and several future soldiers emerge, confusing everyone. Lieutenant Hart, a female soldier, announces to the audience that in 30 years from that moment, humanity will face extinction due to an alien invasion. The mission is to recruit as many people as possible to travel to the future and prevent humanity's destruction. One year later, there continue to be riots and anti-war protests as the draft progresses following the initial announcement, resulting in more casualties. The hope for the future is diminishing. Dan's students are finding it hard to concentrate on their work as they believe that everyone is inevitably going to perish. Dan is eventually summoned to appear for the draft. Following an assessment, he discovers that he meets the requirements because he had actually died sometime between the present and the period leading up to the invasion. A device is implanted on his arm which will assist him in traveling through time. It is also disclosed that Dan had served as a squad leader in Iraq 15 years earlier. Dan is provided with a 24-hour window to settle his affairs. During this time, he decides to visit Emmy at her workplace. Emmy works as a therapist for individuals who have returned from the draft. She informs Dan that there is one individual who can assist in ensuring the safety of his family. This person happens to be Dan's estranged father named James. Dan harbors resentment towards James for leaving him and his mother many years ago. Dan meets with James, who has distanced himself from society and the government. James expresses mistrust towards the government and has chosen to live off the grid. When Dan approaches him for help, James adamantly states that he has never desired to assist him. This angers Dan, as seeking help from James has been his only desire, despite James believing that his involvement would have worsened the situation for Dan and his mother. Upon returning home, Dan shares the news with Emmy and Murray that he has been drafted. The two individuals are devastated by this information and bid Dan a heartfelt farewell with embraces. Dan arrives at the draft and meets other individuals such as Charlie, Dorian, Nora, and Cowan. The group is briefed on the process of time jumping in the mission plan. Charlie explains to Dan that individuals who have died before the war are selected to prevent any paradoxes. He also mentions that Dorian had jumped back after killing an alien known as White Spikes. Suddenly, the draftees are instructed to enter the jump link without any prior preparation, propelling them into the future where they are supposed to land on Miami Beach. However, a miscalculation results in the draftees being dropped at a higher altitude than planned, leading to several fatalities as some fall to their deaths, while others, including Dan, land in the water. Dan meets with Romeo Command, the colonel, who discloses that a blanket bombardment has been ordered by the military to eradicate all living organisms in the area. The team is tasked with rescuing the lab personnel before the bombs are deployed. As the team progresses through the facility, they discover the lab crew deceased but manage to salvage their research. Soon after, they encounter the White Spikes, vicious creatures with agile movements and whip-like tails. While on the run, Dan and his team successfully eliminate some White Spikes, but Cowan falls into a tunnel, prompting Dan to assist him. Facing imminent danger from the approaching white spikes, Nora and Cowan choose to stay behind to delay the creatures while Dan rushes to safety. Tragically, the military initiates the bombing of the tunnel, resulting in the deaths of Nora, Cowan, and the white spikes. The surviving individuals who were drafted awaken at a camp in the Dominican Republic. Dan meets the colonel who is revealed to be Murray as an adult. She expresses some estrangement towards Dan for willingly participating in the draft. 
Murray informs Dan that her team has discovered a female white spike whose biology could be crucial in defeating the rest of the hive. While searching for the cave containing the female white spike, the team is ambushed by numerous male white spikes. Some of the creatures are killed by helicopter blades, and the soldiers engage in a fierce battle. Eventually, the team successfully captures the female white spike, although Dan almost jeopardizes the mission in an attempt to save Murray. She scolds him and then discloses that he died in a car accident seven years after the draft, and Murray was present during his final moments. This revelation comes after Dan had returned from the draft, became disillusioned, left his family, and is the reason behind Murray's estrangement from him. The group takes the female back to an oil rig where the jump link is located in order to extract a toxin from her blood that can eliminate all the white spikes. Subsequently, a large number of aliens invade the base and launch an attack, resulting in another intense battle. The time left in the jump link is running out, and the female white spike manages to break free. She assaults them, causing the bridge to collapse with Murray on it. Despite Dan's efforts to rescue her, she intentionally lets go so that both she and the female can perish, while Dan and the remaining recruits return to their own time period. Upon their return, Dan makes a desperate attempt to go back and save Murray, but it proves futile since the jump link is now offline, preventing them from making the return jump. He also succeeds in keeping hold of the toxin as they were unable to take it away from him. Dan comes back home and shares with Emmy that he encountered Murray as an adult and collaborated with her. Emmy raises the possibility that the aliens may have been present on Earth long before the invasion in 2048. Dan then heads to a bar where he meets Dorian, who discloses that he is suffering from terminal cancer. Dan inquires about a white spike claw that Dorian had kept as a memento, and they find ashes on it originating from Russia. Dan then questions one of his students about volcanic ash information, leading them to conclude that the white spikes have actually been on Earth all along and were awakened by global warming. Dan, Charlie, and Dorian try to seek assistance from a senior government official to authorize them to undertake a mission to Russia, but their request is rejected. Dan then seeks help from James, and together with the other soldiers, they manage to reach Russia and uncover the location of the frozen white spikes. They soon realize that the ship they arrived on did not belong to them, but rather to a different alien species that was transporting the white spikes as a means to destroy other planets. Despite their efforts to administer the toxin to the white spikes, the aliens awaken and launch an attack. Following a fierce battle, Dorian sacrifices himself by detonating a bomb to wipe out the white spikes. However, the female white spike survives and goes after Dan and James. In an attempt to inject her with the poison, she self-amputates her arm to prevent the toxin from spreading. After a brutal struggle, Dan manages to force the toxin down the female's throat, causing her to fall off a cliff and meet her demise, ultimately putting an end to all the white spikes. Information about the successful prevention of the war is circulating, with the leaders from before being acknowledged for Dan and the rest going on the trip. Dan is reunited with Emmy and Murray, and he introduces Murray to James. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.